In today's video, we're looking at how to find the equation of a line when you're given that line on a graph, like any of these three. The key idea is that we can write straight line equations in the form of y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the line, so how steep it is, and c is the y-intercept, which is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So all you need to do is find the gradient and the y-intercept of a line, and plug those values into the equation. To see how this works, let's start with this question, where we need to find the equation of the line on this graph. The easiest thing to spot is that the line crosses the y-axis at y equals 2, which tells us that c must be 2. The gradient, though, is a bit trickier, and there's a few different ways to find it. But in this video, we're going to use the equation change in y divided by change in x, which just means how much the y values change by, divided by how much the x values change by. So to use this, we pick any two points along the line, for example these two, label them point 1 and point 2, and then draw vertical and horizontal arrows between them so that we can form a right angled triangle. Then to find our change in y, we can see that the vertical arrow goes from positive 5 all the way down to negative 4, which is a change of minus 9. So our change in y is minus 9. In the same way, the horizontal arrow goes from x equals negative 1 over to x equals 2, which gives us a change in x of positive 3. This means that to find our gradient, we just do the change in y of minus 9, divided by the change in x of 3, which will give us negative 3. So m in our equation is minus 3. And so to finish, we just take our equation y equals mx plus c, and plug in the minus 3 as m, and the 2 as c, which will give us y equals minus 3x plus 2 as the equation of our line. Before we finish, let's try the same thing for this one. The first thing you want to do with all of these questions is write out y equals mx plus c, because that's the general format that we're going to try and put our equation into. Then to find c, we need to look for the y-intercept, which is down here at negative 3. So you know that c is negative 3. Next, you need to find the gradient, which requires us to find the change in y and divide it by the change in x. So for that, you need to pick two points along the line, for example, 0, negative 3, and 4, negative 2, label them both, and then draw the triangle thing. So if we go from point 1 to point 2, and start with the y's, we can see that we've gone up by 1. So our change in y is just 1. And then if we look at the x values, we can see that we've gone along by 4. So our change in x is 4. This means that the gradient will be 1 divided by 4, which can't be simplified, so m is just 1 quarter. Then to finish, we just plug the c equals negative 3 and m equals a quarter into our y equals mx plus c equation to get a final answer of y equals 1 quarter x minus 3. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope it all made sense and cheers for watching.